Hello boys and welcome back to another video. So in this video we're going to talk more about the unobtainable items uh, being uh, obtainable again. So I told you guys in my previous videos that I would let you guys know whenever we find more unobtainable items. And I thought I would share like the way that most people use to uh, do research to find these unobtainable items. Because there's so many potential good uh, unobtainable items that might be back in the game. And uh, like, how do you find these items? How do you try it out? And I want to make this video to let all of you guys go out there and do some research. Because right now, there's a lot of people, a lot of my viewers who go around, they try and figure out if you can get certain unobtainable items again. And the add-on that we use is uh, All The Things. A really simple add-on. It's an add-on used by uh, a lot of the collectors to basically collect all the things, right? So the thing is, you see the window right here. If you just like toggle down all of these mobs with the regular uh, regular transmog, you will come to the legacy tab, right? So due to the cataclysm or other changes in the mob level, this mob will no longer drop the item. But since the items are scaled, you can get a lot of these items now. And it will literally tell you what kind of items and what kind of mobs used to drop these items. So it's really simple. You just fly into a zone and you go down to the legacy tab, which was it will always be down at the bottom. And you can just look at these mobs, Google the mobs, find out where they are and go and kill them and try and find them. So at the moment, I've done some testing in STB. And as you guys can see here, these are four unobtainable items. You have the huge stone club, headhunting spare, the felt robe, and this staff, which is confirmed to drop. Also the cork back drops, the head chopper drops, Drake scale vest still drops. You have the gut trender, which of course drops. Skull splitter helm drops. Venture power shovel, it still drops. Spell for his rod, this was actually a drop. I've only seen one confirmed screenshot of this drop, but it does drop. I'm not sure about the, uh, the gloves, it might drop. So pretty much every single item in STV that used to be unobtainable can still drop, which is really, really cool. So the thing to go out is like, go out, try and find these items, maybe go and do some of the farms that people aren't doing. Like if you go into Duskwood and uh, you go down to uh, the unobtainables again, you can find, let me see, let me close down all of these until we get to the unobtainable items or the legacy items as they're called in the add-on. There we go. So we had the black metal sword, the war axe, and all of this. We have done some some sessions on trying to obtain these items without any luck. But some of these items are up in the auction house. So what you can do, you can go on the auction house. You can search for these items, and if they're scaled up to level sixty, like these weapons, they didn't used to be level sixty, right? So if you go in the auction house and you so see someone posting a black metal short sword level sixty, it means that they've farmed it. After the patch, when the mobs have scaled up to level 60 and the, the drop drops as a level 60 weapon, so it means that it's confirmed. They will drop now. And uh, yeah, as far as it goes to uh, the uh, Duskwood farms, I've only done like two hour sessions in total, but I haven't been lucky getting any drops. So uh, it would be cool if you guys in the chat, whenever you get like an unobtainable item, to leave uh, maybe a screenshot. Like, I mean, if you tell me you got a Sulean Tiger in Sulfur, I'm not going to believe you unless you give me a screenshot. So if you guys go out and you test her and if you feel like it, it will be really cool if you guys let us all know down in the comment section of this video whenever you uh, receive an unobtainable items. But that is basically how I and most of the other people do research about finding these unobtainable items. Uh, for instance, we did a one hour session in the Hillsprat foothills around the ruins of Altra, killing these big ogres. And uh, they used to drop sickle axe. We did it with five people, one hour didn't get it. Then another group of five did it like uh, five hours later and they got the drop. So it doesn't necessarily mean that it doesn't drop even if you do it for four hours because it might have a really low drop chance. It might be like farming Papal Fess in old demand. The drop chance is really, really low. It doesn't mean it's not there, but it's just really hard to get. And that is all I wanted to say in this video. So if you guys want more updates like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel and I will let you know whenever we find something new. Obviously, I won't make a video about every single unobtainable item that we find, but as soon as we have like a, a list of items, I will make that list and I will upload it to YouTube. Until then, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.